Hi guys, um, my name is Sarah Alamillo. Um, so today's video is going to be about my family migration story. I will be talking to you guys or I will be sharing to you guys of like my family background, you know, how it all started, how they came to the United States. Originally, my family, um, they do not belong here. They are from Mexico. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, share you guys this experience because it is very important to me, you know, uh, knowing where my my mom and my dad come from and like their experience. Um, and being in a whole different country. So I hope you guys enjoy this little background of my story. So for my mom's side, my abuelita, which is my grandma, of course, um, she was born in a small ranch called Soromutas in Michoacan, which is somewhere around here. It is close to the capital of Michoacan, which is called Morelia. So the ranch that she was born in is no longer here in Michoacan, it was really, really small, so they probably like destroyed it, or I don't know what happened. So my grandma, she um, migrated to all the way over here. If you follow the pink line, she went up to Mexicali, which is Baja California, and she says she would go back and forth to Tijuana. Tijuana, Mexicali, Mexicali to Tijuana a couple of times. She migrated to there because she said there was better jobs and in Michoacan, it just gets way too hot. So they went over here. Um, it does seem a really, really far, but because sooner or later, they wanted to cross the border eventually. So that is why she migrated all the way over here. And this is where she had her kids, which my mom comes in here too. My mom was born in Mexicali. Um, and then my grandma also had a couple of kids in Tijuana. So she would just go back and forth, like I said. But yeah, and then my mom, when she comes into the story, she's about 17 years old and she crosses the border. We have the pink line continuing into San Diego and boom, 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 until Ventura. She goes to Ventura because she has some people there waiting for her to um, start working and she starts cleaning houses here in Ventura. My grandma and her kids are still in Mexicali and eventually they do want to go with my mom. My mom first goes because she's the oldest one. So yeah, that's why she went there first. And then she works super, super hard and she saves up tons and tons of money. And then she hires a coyote to eventually send the rest of her family with her and that is what happens so my grandma and her kids they go and they finally meet up with my mother and this is where my mom meets my dad somewhere around oxnard in a baile you already know the drill and then this you know they start their own little journey and they have me and my brothers and stuff like that and then we just stayed around the city pretty sad i know so now i will be sharing you guys a couple of pictures this is a picture that my uncle had sent me through the phone and um this is my mom right here my uncle and my other uncle when they were young obviously and this was taken in mexicali uh, they was taken by a professional photographer. He was just walking by and he was very kind to take a picture for them for free because they didn't have any money. They were pretty poor. My mom was explaining to me about this picture that they have worn the same exact clothes for a whole month because they didn't have much money you know money was spent for more important things so they had to take care of their clothes as much as they can so this picture was taken for free because back then pictures was very rare you know nobody had that money to have a photographer take pictures for you so here is another picture and you know these pictures are very old so don't mind that um but you know they're very special to my mom uh this is my mom right here when she was very little i'm not sure how old she was um and she's hugging a teacher or one of 
a teacher that really liked her at school. My mom didn't have the best education. Um, she only went up to the middle school. Um, but he was very, very nice to her. Not a pervert, but, you know, he was just one of those nice close teachers i guess okay so this picture had me tripping because my mom said she was 15 years old here i'm just like what like 15 girl you do not look 15 you look older than that but anyway she was telling me how she took this picture in her house and as you can see like in the background her house did not look like a house um she says she lived in a house made out of cardboard boxes I know right as you can see like the, look at this cardboard the cardboard box right here um she said que se creó muy guapa este día which basically i said um she said that she thought she was like looking all fire and stuff because she was about to go to a quinceanera that day she said like she borrowed this dress from some lady and like she had to give it back but yeah she she was pretty sad and happy at the same time. Yep. 15 years old. What? Here's another picture of my mama. Um, she looks a little chinita, but, you know, it's all right. Um, she says she was 11 years old here, and I'm just like, dude, you do not look 11. Like, what is this? What is wrong with these people? <laughs> um, so, yeah, she was 11 years old, and this was taken at school. And like I said, again, she didn't have... A lot of clothes so she, her friend let her borrow this outfit i guess and she thought she looks really pretty and so they took a picture for like the yearbook that she never ended up getting my name is miguel nasi in the city of tijuana baja california in mexico por supuesto my experience in mexico uh, bueno fue de como niño fue ir a la escuela uh, Trabajar simultáneamente y estudiar. Viví en México 18 años. Lo que me hizo venir a Estados Unidos fue uh, que acá estaba mi familia. Did you uh, cross the border? Sí. And how was your experience? Uh, mi experiencia fue uh, muy, en aquel tiempo muy fácil, simplemente... Uh, Cruzamos el cerco y alguien nos recogió los 10, 15 minutos de caminar y, y fue todo. Mi primer trabajo en los Estados Unidos fue en, en un restaurante. Mi primer cheque recuerdo que fue 270 dólares. Every two weeks. Sí, estoy muy orgulloso de estar en los Estados Unidos. Creo que me encuentro... Mucho mejor aquí. No me gustaría regresar a México. Eso. ¿Qué es tu propósito? ¿Qué es? ¿Qué es? ¿En México? Pues no, no es nada porque que los presidentes no más entran a, a robar. Cuando entra un presidente no más entra, entra a robar. No entra a, a componer me, me, este, Michoacán ni México. Por eso la gente allá no, no, no quiere pagar bien al trabajador porque, porque no hay mucho dinero. Por eso no te quería decir porque... Que, Eh, es muy, muy triste, era, había, era la vida muy triste. ¿Cómo vino a los Estados Unidos? Corriendo. ¿Corriendo? <risa> pues sí, porque que, de, de, de sacar el pasaporte no me hicieron nada. Por eso me vine corriendo. ¿Pasó la frontera? Corriendo. Me pasé por una mujer así, así como ese. Así. Ahora me de los matones y así, que estaba yo a vivir de y así mojada me, me pasé para adentro. ¿Estaba bonito la experiencia? <risa> Ay. ¿Y no te cacharon? 
High five. <laughs> Mira, ya estás rica, Kira. Aquí. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Grandma. I got you. <laughs> Diles adiós. ¿Eh? Diles adiós. Eh, adiós. 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 Diles bye. Ay. Oh, bye. <laughs>